Welcome back to another episode. We're Brittany and Drew. Also known as Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. And we've been living on the road for seven years now in a variety of different vans. And we have experienced showering in all sorts of ways. And not showering in all sorts of ways. That too. <laughs> and so along with the help from some of our incredible van life friends. Hello beautiful people. We'll be sharing with you methods. Yeah. Love that idea. That not only fit into your space, but they fit into your budget and how convenient your shower needs to be, especially if you're living full-time on the road, building one into an existing build. Or building out from scratch. And if you are building a van from scratch, we do have a blueprint of Spirit available. We'll put a link to that below. Yeah, it gives all our dimensions, our layout, etc. And we'd have to say our most favorite aspect of this build and our most popular video in our van build playlist is our indoor van shower in a drawer. AKA shower in a drawer. And there's the hose that goes through the floor. Wow, that's pretty nifty. Wow, I can bathe in this. And you're gonna be all like scrubbing. <laughs> this is great. We hook it up around our exhaust fan using four simple hooks. Plug and play the quick connect hose, which mixes our cold and hot water, and voila. And we got water. <laughs> that simple. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a shower in a drawer. It's been super, super wonderful. It has. It's not only so easy to set up and put away, it's all nice and compact in there. Tuck it in. Little tuck and slide. Locked and ready for the road. A question that you guys have asked us about mildew forming on mm -hmm. the shower curtain. I think we need another curtain to wrap around Maybe there. Too. I guess I'll try putting the other one on and see what happens when you get Yeah, to. yeah. We're still using that same shower liner that we originally put in when we built the van. Two years ago. But we have zero spots of mold on it whatsoever. All we have to do is make sure that we hang it up to dry yeah. before we tuck it away. Yeah, you can tuck it away for one or two days, but then after that you have to make sure it is dry as can be. Just let it hang for 30 minutes in the sunshine let the wind do its thing and then you flip it once or twice and everything's dry and you put it back away nice and dry now one other drying option that we can do is overnight leave it hung up put the fan on but force the air down onto it and she'll be dry by morning depends on the ambient humidity and dew point level but that works pretty good too and another brilliant indoor van setup that we have always admired is alex and amy of kite van man yeah. wait till you see this Alex and Amy from the Kite Van Man channel and we currently van life in Spain. Today we're going to show you how we shower in our van. So we've got this pretty large seating area here. Which actually conceals the shower, so I'll show you. It's big enough to sit in which is really nice. But it did used to have a shower curtain, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. So the original design had a shower curtain which would work by having a frame down here and it lifted up and hooked onto these hooks which one of them is now a guitar hook but we just never used it because you can just sit in there you know and the water doesn't splash out so at least when i use it it does a little bit when amy uses it <laughs> <laughs> and the hot water is heated with gas another thing that's important to mention here is how you choose to heat your water as you heard Alex say, they use gas or propane, and we use electric, which I believe is powered by our solar panels. Yeah, we have 475 watts of solar on the roof, paired with 450 amp hours of lithium in our power bank. We use a two and a half gallon hot water tank, which heats our water, and depending on the ambient temperature of the water, somewhere from 20 to 10 minutes, and yeah. it is a hefty draw on our power system. So we also have an isolator that allows the van while driving to heat directly to the hot water tank and that's kind of one of our hacks from depleting our power bank entirely. There is nothing like having hot water yeah. to shower with after a long run, especially after your long kite surfing sessions yeah, where you're like shivering. Shower party? You're <laughs> <laughs> getting slammed by the door. I know that wind is just pushing into it. How's the hot water? Oh my gosh, a dream. This one is perfect for really hot days on the beach and also for the kite surfers among us. It's me! <laughs> so as Amy said, it's great for kite surfing because it also is connected to the hot water. Ah, why did you do that? <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry. I love you. We actually did have a full-size bathroom and shower in our first van, but we decided we didn't want to dedicate that much space to somewhere we only spent so little time. But in Europe for two and a half years, not only did we have no actual shower built into our van, but we had zero hot water whatsoever. And so when we built out Spirit, we were like, shower inside, shower at the back, shower at the side. But with all of this outdoor shower talk, it's important that we mention using eco-friendly and biodegradable mm -hmm. products, especially when showering outside. You can also get things like shampoo and conditioner bars for your hair if you wanna go completely plastic free, which reminds us of. Is that why you're smelling so good? Yeah. Boop. Native deodorant. Now in plastic free packaging and push pop form made with coconut oil and shea butter, free of parabens, aluminum, and sulfates. Plus, it's vegan and cruelty-free. Cruelty -free. One of my new favorite scents is for sensitive skin in cotton and lily. Smells like fresh laundry. My new favorite, citrus and herbal musk. This one smells like sexiness. And of course, we have our all-time fave. My fave. The coconut vanilla, which literally <laughs> smells good enough to eat especially now that it's in a push pop. <laughs> also, Native supports 1% for the planet, which means that 1% of all of their plastic-free deodorant sales goes towards environmental nonprofits. Normally, three plastic-free deodorants costs $39, but using our link and code below, you can get them for just $29. That's 25% off. So don't miss this chance to smell good and do good for the environment, especially those of us who like leaving this planet a little bit better than when we found it. Speaking of products that we love using that help make us smell good, especially if you're low on water, but that's using dry shampoo, washing my hair, and eco-friendly baby wipes. It's hard to find baby wipes that are biodegradable, but these are my favorite and I get them for Christmas. Another great way to shower is out the slider door. And what's really brilliant about that is that is the same tap that we use for the indoor shower. Yeah. This is good. Our friends, Sarah and Luca of Leave Everything in Wonder, their kitchen was actually right next to their slider door and they had the extendable sink hose. Hose that they could then wrap outside the vehicle. But in all honesty, they said that they really didn't use that much. Hello, beautiful people. We are Luca and Sarah from You Leave Everything in Wonder. We are from Italy. We have been living on the road for four years. So we have quite a good experience with showering on the road. In Lucky Liu, our old vintage truck camper, we have a little, small, tiny bathroom inside with the inside shower. Heating the water was uh, with uh, propane and finding propane in some areas was impossible. Propane and water are precious. And it is funny because I remember when we were in Canada and we were looking for a vehicle to buy and to start our adventure, one of uh, the must-have in our research was indoor shower, indoor toilet, indoor bathroom, and we never use it. And also Luigi, our minivan, uh, we have a 25 liters of fresh water tank, about six gallons, that we can use to take outdoor showers, but... Uh, <laughs> we never use it as well. <laughs> yes, both in Lucky Liu and in Luigi, we ended up using uh, always uh, these uh, outdoor uh, solar showers, uh, 20 yeah. liters, uh, 5 gallons, uh, and it's the best way because they are easy to care so you can bring it with you and fill it up wherever you can find fresh water on the road and also you just put it on the roof of your van, of your truck camper, yes. on your RV car, whatever you're using, and you just let it heat. Even if both of us, we had long hair, Luca has long beard, a lot of hair all over the body, <laughs> we thought it will be challenging to use just this amount of water for showering the two of us, but no, sometimes we use this amount of water for two showers. It's the most cost-effective shower option out there at only $11 on Amazon. The temperature of the water though does depend on how much direct sunlight it gets. So, for how long? Yeah, so it, the temperature will vary. Another way that you can kind of DIY and upgrade that version of a solar shower is by using a dry bag and a pressurized shower head. Hey everyone, we're the Van Kooks, Danny and Kevin. We've been living in our van for five years and we've never had a gym pass to take showers. 
and we don't have a shower in our van. The first thing that we started with was one of these pocket showers. Doesn't have very much water pressure. It kind of just trickles out with the flow of gravity. So if you're looking for a high pressure system, this isn't really the best bet. But it gets the job done. So the next option that's a little bit better is the dry sack. So we fill the dry sack up with water. We leave it in the sun. We let it get nice and hot. And then we pull our sink pump hose out of the van, stick it into the dry sack and suck the water out, out the faucet and out the sliding door basically. And that's a nice shower. We thought that was really smart. I wish yeah. I would have known about that a couple of years we ago. We would have used that in Europe, I think. Genius idea, guys. Plus you can only hang it as high as the top of your van. Yeah, it was a little tricky. I You're remember with like the long- squatting. But standing in a bucket helps ensure that you can kind of use the shower water yeah. as you wash the rest of your body and it keeps your feet clean. That's true. And then you can just step over to your flip-flops or Crocs and scurry back into the van. Aw, the good old days of the, the good simple old days. showers. Simple things and simple ways. Yep. Ooh, another way to use solar to help heat up your shower. It's the advanced solar shower. We love this thing. It's called the water port. We got it at Costco. It's really cool. So how this works is it's got this Schrader valve here and then you just use the bike pump and you pump the pressure into it and you get it to about 30 pounds of pressure. And once you get it in there, you can either use the bike pump or it even has this hand pump. We prefer to bike pump because you're going to sit here and pump for a long time. But once you got it pumped, this thing's amazing. It comes with just like a kind of garden hose setup. And then it has tons of pressure. If you can see here, I'll put it on the jet mode. And we got a target over here. And this thing is really great too because it's black and we put it up on top of our roof. So it gets really, really warm. We actually take it down and a lot of times, besides doing like taking showers, we do do our dishes with this outside so we don't have to worry about the gray water inside the van. It even has a nice mister. We like to like set the nozzle up on a pole and it has a little lockout feature and you can kind of just lock it and let it run. This is our favorite way. Yeah, this is our favorite way. This thing's really cool. It's called the water port. And I'm sure Brittany and Drew will throw a link in the description because they're savvy YouTubers. <laughs> Another solar shower option that does require a little bit of installation is having a big black pipe mm -hmm. on the roof of your van. So then the water heats up that way. Usually runs the entire length of your vehicle too. So it can really hold a lot of volume. What I realized is our 12 volt pump has this little connection here. So I might actually permanently insert that into the wood there. So it's like super easy to set up. So that's hooked onto the 12 volt. I've got the compressor that I just threw on top of the roof. And then once we're on the roof, I'm just gonna hook up our shower hose to our solar shower. This is just a black pipe full of cold water that we filled up a few days ago. And as it sits in the sun, essentially it gets hot. So it should be pretty warm. Is it cold? Yeah. But what if you find yourself somewhere where you're smelly, it's not sunny, and you really need a shower? Like maybe you're in England. There is always the kettle and a bucket shower, like our friend Lindsay of Corky Campers was kind enough to show us how she does so. And really with that warm water poured over your toesies and a washcloth, that's all you need. An even easier way though, if maybe you don't care about having hot water and you just need a way to wash your hair and all your bits and bobs, you can use your sink. We've done that before at Burning Man where going outside and being wet means that you are going to be caked in dust and trying to conserve water at the same time. Good thing we built a big sink. It's gonna take me a while. <laughs> then there's also campgrounds, but you're gonna wanna make sure you have shower shoes. And as we mentioned, or I don't know if we mentioned this earlier or not, but the most luxurious form of showers that we probably get, those ones gifted to us by family and friends. If you guys are hosting van lifers, this is probably the biggest gift you can possibly offer to somebody living in a van. And one day when we have land, we'll have to make sure to have a special little designated shower area for all of our van guests. Yes. Like a shower house. It'll be the <laughs> best. Shower time.
A very special thank you to all of our family and friends out yeah. there who have ever gifted us with a shower. We will always remember those showers. We'll always be grateful for those moments too. <laughs> yeah. Another less luxurious shower, probably one of the least luxurious, is a beach shower. Yeah. There's always other people kind of around, but awkward if you're all like getting in there. Yeah. You know, it's just like a Incensive. peripheral. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to keep it yeah. simple with the beach showers. It's crazy to think though that while we were in Europe, other than using that little solar bag that mm -hmm. we had, the only other method of showering that we used was the gallon jug, or I guess it was a five liter five jug. Five liters. Drew would stand by the slider window <laughs> and I would be on the floor outside standing in the bucket. Yeah. He would pour water on my head. I would soap up, pour it and rinse it, then conditioner it, and then we'd swap. Once we were in between two cars and we thought we were good. Yeah, until that car moved. Yeah, the people were coming and Drew's like throwing the towel over my head and I got yeah. in the front seat. You just never know what's gonna happen in the middle of your shower when you're yeah. living in a van. Yeah. That's why having an indoor shower is pretty clutch because you yeah. get to control this environment at least <laughs> these 80 square feet. <laughs> Some of my best memories might also be bathing in natural bodies of water. Oh, that always counts as a good solid shower. It does. You might not get all the soaps and all that in, but yeah. You're fresh. Nothing beats just being submerged. Here goes. It's going to be freaking cold. And last but not least. This is how they do it out in the <laughs> desert to stay cool. I feel like I'm in a cattle trough. <laughs> I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the additional perks to building out the shower in a drawer because it doubles over for a sponge bath or mm. bubble bath, whichever one you prefer. Depends how big you are. That too. <laughs> but Alex and Amy have a really great big tub in their van. That must be awesome. A luxury. For bath time. Yeah. Although we can't fill it with water and have a bath because Alex won't let me. Come on, Alex. But to be honest, we've never actually used our utility tub for a bath either. I can bathe in this. With a view. Babe, I'll literally be able to sit oh and take my a bath gosh. with you. <laughs> Looks like this is something we're both gonna need to change. Having a good old shower, yeah. nothing makes you feel more fresh and alive some yeah. days, you know? Yeah. We try not to go more than three days without a shower because it really starts to affect our mood. <laughs> you just get cranky and grumpy after a few more days. So we hope that learning these 15 ways to shower just helps give you the knowledge and insight you need so that yeah. you can wash all of your potentially grumpy days away. <laughs> yeah, and that you can plan out your van build properly with this knowledge and have a great time when you hit the road. And if you have a way of showering that we did not mention, please put it below in the comments because yeah. we would love to hear. And yeah. if you enjoyed this video and are grateful for the footage that our friends were kind enough to all also share with us to share with you. Thanks friends, we appreciate it. We do. Please be sure to tap that like and subscribe if you yeah. haven't yet. We have also included a link to all of their channels yeah. in the video description below. Yeah, subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out theirs and also subscribe. Yes, show them some love. We adore yeah. every single one of them yeah. and every single one of you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> Hope we will smell as good as we do today. I'll keep you around. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brittany and Drew, for including us in this video. We love you and we send a lot of positive vibes from Italy. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie mille. A presto. Ciao. Thanks again, Drew and Brittany. Uh, it was great meeting you guys last summer. It's great to be on your channel. And if you guys are interested in more uh, cookery, you can check us out. We're working on a tiny home at the moment. So it's Van Kooks and subscribe and we'll see you guys there. Thanks, guys. La, 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 la. Ooh, it's hot. Huh. Really hot. <laughs> hot water on my back. Woo! It's literally steaming.